Feel the warmth of the holidays with Isotoner's new ultra-warm booties and slippers. Cozy and comfortable with a luxurious inner lining for wonderful warmth. Their four-way stretch will give your feet the feeling of a massage. And with that comfortable way they hug your feet, no gift is quite as fitting as Isotoner's new ultra-warm booties and slippers. This is apartment D105 at Friendship Villa, Schomburg, Illinois. Hey, the occupant you. is Florence Shafi. Welcome, Florence. We enter the apartment D105 of Florence's. We walk in. This is the first bathroom with a shower. So this is the first bathroom of the two with the shower, actually the tub, shower in the second bathroom. Very nice. It's in the kitchen where she can always be found working yeah. and she's fixing up her plant. Shabby in her new home away at the Friendship University. Okay, Mom, take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Smile big. And a refrigerator and some cabinets and the usual. Living room and dining room area has access to south uh, windows with beautiful sun coming in. Wonderful outdoors in the summertime. Cabinet space everywhere. Mirrored closet doors and two closets, one here in the living dining room area. And there's the mover, Darlene, helping move some of the things in, some of the fragile pieces. And Chris. From the kitchen and the dining room area, we go into the bedroom, which is very large and has access again to some wonderful windows. It is just a wonderful view she has. Right now there's snow out on the lawn. Brand new carpeting plush, plush carpeting in every room. She also has access in two places to, for a pull cord for emergency help. This is a view from the bedroom into the kitchen. She has an entryway from her bedroom to lots and lots of closet space. Again, mirrored doors. This once was the kitchen of another apartment and when they restructured, they made it all for closet space. From the closet, is another bathroom, the second bathroom with a shower in it. Again, very spacious with all the safety handles and everything that she would ever need here. Um, sauce? Because maybe you should have some sugar. This is Nurse Tara over here. <laughs> Tara, wonderful, wonderful sunlight coming in. It's a very light apartment, brand new. There's Darlene with her blankie, and here's Paul, another of the movers. Her, this is Paul, Hi, the mover, <laughs> the happy mover. Yeah, this is Florence sitting in her first chair with her new table. <laughs> Made of cushions, having her first meal here. 
<laughs> I didn't even wait, get them. Wait, wait, don't. Walter well, is doing the flowers in the kitchen as usual. <laughs> She's having fun. Fun in there. D105 Florence Shopping. Thanks for the visit, Florence. I don't want them. Who's going to buy blankets after someone with smallpox has slept on them? We'll boil them and sterilize them. They'll be worthless. We don't have any other choice. Not my window! dollars a piece. Deputy, you gonna let him get away with that? Yes, sir, I am. Uncle Ethan! Uncle Ethan! Joseph, go back! Told you to stay at home. Why don't you shoot them too, Court? I said go home. Not safe here. Be there as soon as I can. It's George! Don't touch him. He's going with me. We have to take him to the firehouse. Joseph, get my horse. What's the matter, Cord? Firehouse not good enough for your kid? It has to be quarantined, Ethan. You know that. Ethan, like everybody else. Joseph, get my horse. We should take him home. We can't take him home, Ben. You might all get sick. They won't get sick. Ethan, you're not thinking. You can't take him back to the cabin. Then I won't. Don't do this. Go home. Ethan! Infect John Jr. Right. I'm not. Stay away from us, Scotty. Mary, I understand you're scared. We're all scared. If you understood, then why did you leave this morning? If you understood, you wouldn't have come back. You infected him. You know. Bobby was in town for two weeks. He was in the hotel for two weeks. He played with our son every day. We had dinner with his mother. No! Uh, John Jr. has already been exposed. Sick coming to the firehouse all the time. We're running short of food. Take what you need and go. Wait, wait, Uncle Ethan. 
I'm not too hungry. Sure, George. Maybe you'll be hungry after you sleep a little bit, huh? Mending those pants isn't gonna mend George. Nothing will. Joseph. I'm facing the facts. I want to talk about it. You better think about it. I am thinking about it. Thinking about when George comes home. your chest, Ben. There's nothing there. Let me see. I told you. I wish I could see George. You can't. You know that. I know, but I want to... He'll be all right. Yeah. with the Rubbermaid workspace system. Workspace system? Just mount to a wall or a pegboard. Arrange the holders. Hooks and bins. Now we can find everything. My workshop. We can finish the toys in time. What a swell bunch of elves. <laughs> the Rubbermaid workspace system. Sears challenges all so-called superstores to try to top this value. A 52-inch projection TV, it comes with two extra speakers for just $53 a month. With Sears' tremendous buying power, we got a manufacturer's reduction to pass great savings on to you. Now this TV is $500 less than our usual great low price. Thanks. At Sears and Sears Brand Central now. Paradise will continue. One of them did a deed, so to hide a crime of greed, none of it made any sense. So I stuck in my two cents. With Emmy winner Michael Learned, Murder, She Wrote, Sunday. When Joanna rekindles an old flame... Let's not talk ugly. We're too beautiful for that. Will sparks fly? You always could turn a phrase. And a stomach. Neil Hyde, then... He's a doctor with a great bedside man. But is he crazy in love? Or just plain crazy? Doctor, doctor, Monday. This is CBS. If you always wanted December to be a little hotter, it's happening. GM's divisions are heating up now. Each dealer is out to make December hotter than ever. With deals like 4.8% APR GMAC financing on our all-new midsize sedans. Rebates of up to $1,250. 90-day deferred payment plans and special leasing programs on just about every car and truck. Yes, this December is incredibly hot at every GM division. It's GM's hot December. Come feel the heat.
A tragic fire in Kankakee kills four children. Details tonight on Channel 2 News. My help. It's too dangerous. If you come here, it's a good day to die. need to pick up a few of his things. Is he better? John Taylor's with him. How are you all? Well, we're not sick, if that's what you mean. For a little while, if it... Well, they need you in town? Yes, but... A minute. We'll be all right. Of course you will. I'll just tell your Uncle Ethan. You'll be fine. Thank you. Miss Lawson. I guess Uncle Ethan didn't want to leave George. But I won't leave his side. Poor Uncle Ethan. Poor George. I wish it was me. Don't say that. I do. So Uncle Ethan wouldn't feel so bad. Bad. Uncle Ethan loves George the best. That's a dumb thing to say. 
No. Ever seen him get mad at George? He only gets mad at you and me. Now you're making me mad. But I don't mind if George is his favorite. Uncle Ethan doesn't have favorites, Ben. Sorry, I'll mop it up. Maybe I should get back into bed. It's Bill Earl. I'll take him from here. How is Bobby? Alive. Fighting. George is his favorite. Please don't do this again. But I don't think he loves George best. If he's his favorite, he does. No, it's like you said. He's his favorite because George doesn't make him mad. You make him mad, I make him mad, not George. I wonder why. You both are tougher than George. Luke is harder on you because you need it. George is easy. George makes me mad sometimes. upside down. One day they show up on my door. No warning, no nothing. Sometimes I like having them around, but... You know, if raising children means feeling like this, it's not worth it. It's not. Nothing's worth this. It's here! The stage! Thank God. Why'd he stop? Vaccine. Thank <laughs> you. 
is it, John Taylor? There isn't enough vaccine. Well, how much is there? Nine doses. It'll be cool. Let's surprise them. What do we make? They like this stuff. They do. This one must be new. It's raisinless. Taste what they've done to my oatmeal. Oatmeal raisin crisp and new oatmeal crisp. Whole grain oats, crunchy almonds, and a touch of brown sugar. And now with raisins or no raisins. Which one do you like best? Hmm. Let's keep both of them. Oatmeal raisin crisp and new oatmeal crisp. According to the latest estimates, Earth will soon be inhabited by more than 5.2 billion people. Where will they all fit? You know, my family has this holiday tradition. Oh yeah? What's that? We pick out a special new ornament every year at Hallmark to remember that Christmas fight. That's nice. So what should we get? Well, it is our first Christmas together. Whether you're just starting to make memories or adding to your collection, nothing captures them like the keepsake ornaments of Hallmark. Boy, doesn't the tree look great? Yeah, but shouldn't we hang it a little more to the left? Hallmark has a way. Monday, when Suzanne attends her high school reunion, it takes more than a pretty face. I have put on a few pants here and there, but you all act like I should be ordering fabric over at Georgia Tent and on it. It takes a lot of class. You know she's been married a bunch of times. They probably left because they weren't getting enough to eat. And a big heart. You can remember me any way you like. A special Designing Women Monday. You're the woman that I love. If he doesn't own it, he'll buy it. You're pregnant. If it can't be bought, I want this child. He'll take it. She's gone! <sighs> Without a word! He's come for her. Come on! Beauty and the Beast. It's not a fairy tale anymore. Tuesday. This is all we can spare. Epidemic here in Reno. We'll send more as soon as possible. Soon as possible? That's all it says. Nine doses? Who's gonna get them? Not nine, three. Three? Children are the most vulnerable. There's six children still without smallpox. They'll go first. You can't make a decision like that yourself. I just did. That's fine for you to say. Three of the children are yours. And two of them aren't really children anymore. Scotty, go get Huckleberry. I'll go. Mr. Lee, fetch toy and men. Hold on a minute, they're Chinese. What's that supposed to mean? It means they should... shouldn't be counted. Ethan. Fine. First six doses go to the children. And who gets the other three? You gonna decide that too, Cord? We can all decide that. Oh. We'll draw lots. Oh, no. Scotty's sick, isn't he? No. Some vaccines arrived. We don't need any. We're staying here till it's over. Mary, John Jr.'s already been exposed. It, it's only a matter of time before... No. He needs the vaccine to protect him. We need to be left alone. Does that include Scotty? He made his choice. Made his choice. Do you have any idea what your husband's been doing? The sacrifice he's made? He is up day and night helping the sick. He's a real hero, Mary. I don't know what we'd do without Scotty. I'm doing what's right for my baby. Coming to town, getting him the vaccine, that is what is right for your baby. But you go ahead, hide in your house. Don't worry about anybody else. I'll just tell Scotty you're both doing fine. Enough blue chips for everyone in the room, except for three. 
Whoever gets a white chip goes to the sitting room, gets vaccinated. Simple as that. Simple? Life and death? Come on, let me get lying. I'm right here. Is this going to hurt? Yes. This isn't right. There should be another way. I want to buy yours. Sorry. I'll give you $50, Amos. 100. 150. I told you no. How much do you want? I got what I want. Don't open your hand, don't look. I'll give you $100 for your chip. You offered Dot 150. 150 then. I don't think so. 200. I'll give you $300 cash. $300. You're all witnesses. Right with you. Got a white ship. Roll your sleeve down, Joseph. Don't get it dirty. And don't scratch. All right, come on over and roll your sleeve up. No, I uh I want to give mine to Effie. She's been with the boy the whole time. What if he gets better and she gets sick and dies? I'm stuck with him. I wish I'd died. The way I figure it. I got nothing to lose. That's the last one. You see George now? When am I going to know? If he wakes up, you'll know. I am. I never liked that kid. I know 
he was troubled the minute he got here. Ethan. George didn't do anything. He didn't bring the plague here. Ethan, listen to yourself. It's nobody's fault. We've done all we can now. We just have to hope. Well, I'm about out of hope. Uh, I brought this for Billy Earl. Mark Twain. His favor. Yeah, Billy Earl. What time he brought you? Tony, I'm sorry. What are you doing? What's it look like? Can't leave paradise. I'm not going to stay and get sick. You'll spread the smallpox. I'll save my life. And you'll kill others. Don't try to stop me, Ethan. I got to. You're not going to shoot me. I'll give you that one. No more. No place to run. For those hardy souls who brave the elements in search of the perfect tree, McDonald's has a treat just for you. For a short time, we're serving holiday chicken McNuggets with a festive orange sauce. There are also thick, rich eggnog milkshakes and cool peppermint sundaes. They're just our way of wishing you 
a joyous season. Your holiday place, McDonald's. See, a woman's body is merely a framework. My design was created to release. Pants are mandatory. It has. You won't see a leg in Paris this year. Purple and fuchsia. The short skirt is dead. My design. No matter what the gentleman prefers, the lady prefers Haynes. You don't have to be crazy about home projects to buy a Black & Decker cordless screwdriver or cordless screwdriver plus. You just have to have a screw loose. Wouldn't beautiful windswept flowers and lush spring colors be a welcome change of pace this time of year? Then come to the J.C. Penny White Sale, where you'll save on everything for your bed and bath. Next on Paradise. Turn back. Hayden's Crest Bridge collapsed. Took four riders with it. How do we get home if the bridge is out? We'll find us another way. Ah! You stay put. Have you ever crossed the desert? Many times. There's a well a few miles from here. <laughs> Papa died. Mama died. Now Ethan and the boys. We don't know what's happened to them yet. Don't we? Channel 2's Lester Holt previews Channel 1, a controversial news show for kids complete with commercials, and it's coming to some Chicago area schools. Will it give students an educational advantage or advertisers a captive audience? Lester Holt reports Monday at 10 here on Channel 2. I'm getting Dreyfus used to this Frisbee. I'm going to teach him how to jump up and catch it. <laughs> Dreyfus? Would you settle for him just lying there and admiring the flight pattern? <laughs> Please. You know I'm waiting to hear about a job. Hello? <laughs> Fine, yes, she'd love to. Send us the bill. <laughs> Who was that? You just signed up for cha-cha lessons. <laughs> Carol, you had no right to do that. What time do I have to be there? <laughs> I don't know. Some guy named Carlos is going to call you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's wrong with this phone? Hello? Carol, relax. It was the microwave. <laughs> Come on, you have nothing to worry about. I have a very good feeling about this job. Oh, Daddy, I hope so. The idea of working in the University Rare Books Library is so exciting. I mean, assistant director. This job would be absolutely perfect for me. Really? I didn't think any job would be perfect for you. What is that, some kind of veiled reference to the last ten jobs I've quit? <laughs> well, you do always seem to find some little thing wrong wherever you're working, and the next thing you know, you're answering the microwave. <laughs> Barbara, Carol had a good reason for quitting every one of those jobs. Like that last one, honey, what was the problem there? The air conditioning. See that? See air conditioning? <laughs> why? They kept it turned up too high. So why didn't you just wear a sweater? Barbara, it was the principle of the thing. Do you think Norma Ray would have worn a sweater? Hi, all. I'm about to make a major contribution to society. Oh, Charlie, a vasectomy? <laughs> So, Charles, what is this contribution to society? I joined the Big Buddy program. I'm going to be the good influence a disadvantaged youth never had. Great. What made you decide to do it? One word, one syllable, here it is. Babes. <laughs> See, last night I was putting the moves on this beautiful woman named Fiona. The downside is she's a real knee-jerk liberal. The upside is they're the ones who put out. <laughs> Surely it is a crass generalization. Right. Anyway, I really fell for this woman, and she has the nerve to call me selfish and inconsiderate. So I'm determined to impress her with my social conscience. Enter Big Buddy program. I got the job! Oh, all right! <laughs> oh, Daddy, it's so exciting. I start tomorrow and... 
Out. Gotta come from him. Out. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great, Carol. Another notch on your resume. Uh, well, no, honey, honey, you do your father a favor, huh? Have a little patience this time. Don't be too quick to find fault. Don't worry, Daddy. I am going to make this one work out. I know you will, but just in case, take a sweater. <laughs> Miss Weston, look around you. Most people see books. I see worlds. I believe books make the best adventures. Yes. Books make the best friends. It's true. Books make the best lovers. <laughs> so the cafeteria's downstairs and to the left. That's right. Miss Weston, for your first project, how would you like to oversee the acquisition of the Hemingway letters? <laughs> 